This is the Microcut YN09A drill sharpener. Large capacity, it'll do between 5 64ths and 1 and 1 quarter inch drills. Uh, translated, that's 2 millimeters to 32 millimeters. And the easiest drill grinder to use because all you have to do is select your drill. In this case, I have a 1 half inch. Find the collet. that fits the drill. Take the chuck apart and there's a little bit of a lip on the chuck so when you're inserting the collet just take it a little bit of an angle, slide it in and put the chuck back together again. Don't tighten it. I take it and I put it into the port here where we're selecting the drill diameter and what I do is when I put it in I turn, turn it to the right or clockwise until I can't turn it anymore on the front here, in metric, they have the drill size selector, but with that, uh, with the instructions that come with the machine, you have a conversion chart so you know what sizes the inches are compared to the metric. In this particular case, we're going up to a half inch, which is just under 13 millimeters. So what I'll do is I'll select this by turning it first completely to the right, make sure it's on zero, and then I'll rotate it counterclockwise to almost 13. I take the drill, I then insert it in here, make sure it sits at the bottom, turn it completely to the right so I can't turn it anymore. And while I hold it like that, I'll just tighten the chuck, rotate a little bit to the left, and off you go. So the drill is now set. We make sure that it is set because the flat spot on the top of the chuck has to be parallel with the lip on the uh, drill. And so at this point I turn the machine on or before I did so if I needed to change the angle at all this machine can do between 90 and 140 degrees. The typical angle for most drills is 118 and that's where it's set at. So I turn the machine on, I insert the drill like this all the way to the end so that the shoulder fits with the flat spot on the chuck and then I just rotate it back and forth, back and forth. I'm not just going all the way because it wheel is not turning right now, just all the way back and forth until the grinding stops. Turn it 180 degrees, same thing, back and forth, back and forth until the grinding noise stops. And that's it, I've just ground the drill. Now if I want to put the split point or center point on there, up here this port, you can select again by turning it all the way first to the right, counterclock or clockwise. Zero will give you the smallest center point and if you increase that number from there it will give you a deeper split point center point. The deeper the center point, the longer it will last, but the tougher it is to drill if you're drilling by hand. Smaller the number, smaller split point, easier to use, but you'll have to resharpen it uh, sooner. So all you do with that particular port, again, you just drop it in so these two pins fit with the flat spot, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth a little bit, doesn't give you much room to play for the split point, up again, other side, back and forth, back and forth until you've done it and you've just ground your drill. That side here will do up to one half inch and if you want to go from half inch to one and a quarter inch what you do is you flip the machine around and so on this side you have all the collets comes with 31 collets for the larger sizes and it comes with the larger chuck but still the same procedure, exactly the same. And that is the Microcut YN09A large capacity high accuracy drill sharpener.